Good morning, good afternoon, all around the world, to this conference about design on the release 2023X of the 3D experience. Um, today, the session will be in two parts. The first one will be about the EcoBike project that I will talk in a minute, and then we'll go to our traditional uh, what's new in the release 2023X. So let's talk about this uh, project, the Eco Bike, which is in fact a creation of an eco-friendly bicycle inspired by nature. It's a micro project that we do uh, when we do our product development process to make sure from the specification to the technical test of the application that our applications are made in the right context of our users in situation. So for this project, um, the idea was to create an eco-friendly bicycle inspired by nature. And for that, first of all, what we did is that we um, selected some talented people in the team to, um, to imagine this uh, future bicycle. So Aude was part of the project as a creative designer, Edouard Sutre as a studio engineer, both located in Velizy. And then we also onboard on the project uh, Valérie Middendorf from uh, Munich. She was in charge of the color and trim study. And Michael Reiter, also from Munich, who was our visualization and experience expert. So as I said, the project was to, um, to imagine a future product which is sustainable, so sustainable by design and also uh, inspired by nature. So first of all, to initiate the project, the first uh, idea was to make the team working together. So, Valérie, are you with us? Yes, I'm here. Hello, Valérie. So can you launch a collaborative discussion with the team to start to brainstorm about the project? Yes. So the project starts with a collaborative brainstorming session in 3D Experience. So the users involved can share their ideas in, in a swim conversation and even have meetings inside swim. So by starting a call directly from our conversation, we met to discuss the design challenges of this project. So involved in this specific session here are Ode as creative designer, Edouard as studio engineer, and myself as color and trim designer. So to visualize our thoughts, we start a 3D whiteboard directly inside the swim call. To start this brainstorming session, we discussed the design challenges of the bike project. To get a feeling for all the factors involved in a project like this, Ode prepared a concept using the ECHO design wheel. So this gives us guidance what to take into account for the design. So here you see us discussing slides of our PDF document, which were simply imported into the 3D whiteboard. So following the slides, we define aspects that appear most important to us, like for example, the use of recycled materials or easy maintenance of the bike. So by the way, um, in this whiteboard, we can collaboratively work on our ideas, meaning uh, we can work on the ideas all together at the same time, and we will also have feedback of what our colleagues are working on in the same moment. So as a next step, we sum up uh, what we just discussed in uh, the design focus. So um, for example, we want to offer an electric support for the bike by using rechargeable batteries, but still keep the number of components low. So it could maybe even deliver it as a bike kit for the user to assemble it themselves. Um, afterwards, we break down the design focus into the different components of the bike. And for better context, we open a 3D model of a bike. So here you see us talking about the different, uh, the different components of the bike. And another very important aspect of this project is to keep the weight of the bike low. So we could maybe do this by using shape optimization, using visual scripting tools, like you see in the, in the example here. Also one of the thematic of the styling intent with patterns inspired by nature. Okay, and reusing some 3D assets, 3D existing parts, elements. Okay, Valérie? Yeah, indeed. And um, yeah, so now we conclude the design focus. We, we just uh, defined by adding some annotations. And as a last thing to discuss, we brainstorm about potential materials. So um, to give the bike a high-end look, we, and, but still keep it lightweight, we thought of using some 
lightweight bamboo and combining it with uh, luxury root wood as a nice contrast. And now that we finished our brainstorming session, uh, we publish our whiteboard to our already existing conversation. And from here, we can review it, we can edit it, um, or we can even forward it to conversations or communities to share it with other colleagues. Very good. Thank you, Valérie and team. So using the conversation of the Tulix Pants platform plus the whiteboard in a collaborative conversation to brainstorm all together and to imagine this future of bicycle, using the eco wheel to make sure this uh, eco-friendly bicycle is sustainable by design, covering the 360 degrees of sustainability, using also some specific materials with a wood, reconstructed wood, recycled wood, and, um, and also some uh, technical elements and patterns. But uh, okay, so now let's initiate the pure uh, ideation uh, creation with a new application called Creative Design Experience. And uh, Aude will use it with some new capabilities, but Aude is not with us today. So it's Francois who will uh, explain you this creation process, right? I hope so. <laughs> yeah. Hello, everyone. Uh, so as mentioned by Xavier, in the name of Aude, I will uh, have the pleasure to comment uh, this uh, project from the creative design part. Um, as you know, creative design experience is a, a key uh, new application that we offer in our portfolio for creative designers to be more creative in their uh, ideation and uh, shape exploration process. And so uh, it starts directly from the desktop, um, connecting your favorite Edmonton display and then go directly into the 3D environment, exploring your environment that you have set up uh, up front with your um, creative ideas to keep the inspiration alive while uh, starting to uh, explore uh, the design of your uh, new uh, project. Um, being in, a, in virtual reality is very really key for creative designers. Um, they, they keep being um, innovative, they keep um, uh, go into the exploration of their design, of their ideas, without breaking any uh, workflow. You know, they are using their uh, gesture directly into the 3D, having a, a direct visual feedback of uh, the uh, proportions um, and of the, the, the overall uh, project. In this case, you see that uh, Ode is using um, data coming from uh, uh, the, the 3D experience platform, from the environment. This is the, the, the power of the integration within the 3D experience platform of Katia. Uh, data and she can directly work uh, from here uh, to uh, look uh, for ideas uh, to uh, start to draw uh, roughs, uh, so keeping the inspiration alive. Uh, always uh, keeping uh, the key functionalities uh, at her hands tips, uh, so it's uh, really efficient, really direct. Um, and um, and uh, really uh, powerful uh, to go into such uh, exploration phases of the design. At any time, she can go back to the desktop for uh, accessing other type of capabilities, uh, depending of the context, depending of the use case. And here, it's uh, uh, yeah to fine tune some some parameters, and then go into a very um, important step for designers, which is to turn the idea into a 3D reality in shape uh, creation process. Thanks to subdivision surfaces, it's really uh, direct and, uh, and uh, effective to start to, to create uh, some Swedish 